Round 8 of the All Flag State Premier League saw top of the table Bayswater City play host to last season's Premier's Balcata at Frank Drago Reserve. Bayswater in their familiar blue and black strips soon made their intentions clear. A long ball was clipped forward for Gustavo Giron Maralunda who struck his shot first time but Bobson Caroma blocked. Balcata had the next strike but Daniel Masevsky's effort was blocked. Balcata kept possession and Steve Burton managed to draw a foul from Julian Madashi. Burton clipped the free kick to the back post looking for Nunes, but the ball came off the Bayswater defender and wrong-footed a stunned Tom Dixon in the Bayswater goal. 1-0 to Balcata. Nunes took the plaudits, but on replay it is clear the ball comes off the Bayswater defender before his foot gets to the ball. And against the run of play, Balcata had the lead. Soon after, a corner was whipped in to the back post and the unmarked John Thornley was unfortunate to see his shot rebound off the underside of the crossbar. Balcata started to move the ball with confidence. Paul Vitistas fed Misevsky, who laid it back to Burton, who played a through ball looking for Thornley, but Dixon was off his line smartly. Minutes later, Burton broke down the right and delivered a telling cross to the back post, which eventually fell to Thornley via the back of Andy Riali but he pushed his shot wide. Bayswater felt they had claims for a penalty after Quinn crossed and Giron Maralunda went to ground spectacularly in the box, but the perfectly placed referee spotted he had simply run into the back of Chris Thackeray. Bayswater came out for the second half keen to restore parity. Riali fed John Kearney, who clipped a great ball into the path of Giron Maralunda, who beat Madashi and the keeper, but was unlucky to see his effort rebound off the post. He was then denied by a great save from Caroma. Bayswater remained calm to create another opening, but Girard Maralunda's air swing meant another opportunity had gone begging. Soon after, a Bayswater corner resulted in good movement and passing from Jacera, Girard Maralunda and Stephen Turnbull before Catachiori lifted his shot over the crossbar. But just before the hour mark, Balcata doubled their lead. Burton cut infield before being stopped, the ball fell to Johnny Migas, who slid the perfect ball through for Daniel Masevsky, whose shot came off Riali and beat Dixon at his near post. Balcata once again had luck go their way when it mattered. A great pass by Migas to Masevsky in space, but as he looks to curl the ball to Dixon's far post, the covering Riali deflects it in past his keeper on the near post. Jérôme Maralunda looked to get Bayswater back in the game. He robbed Burton, but was then fouled by Thackeray at the edge of the penalty area. Jérôme Maralunda took the free kick himself and was only denied by a superb one-handed save from Caroma. In the 69th minute, Bayswater pulled a goal back, and it was the least they deserved. Substitute Jack Wilkinson fed Paul McCarthy, who clipped a ball forward to Joe Yoffe who beat Shane Nunes and shot across Caroma into the bottom corner. A good run by Yoffe and he gets ahead of a lumbering Nunes. He hits an early shot wrong footing the defender and the keeper. 2-1 and Bayswater had a lifeline. Minutes later, Caroma had to come off his line quickly to deny Wilkinson after Kearney stole possession on halfway and played a dangerous through ball. It was, however, Kearney who then coughed up cheap possession on halfway with Bayswater committing numbers forward. Mo Attack passed the ball to Thornley, who pulled Riali one way then the other before bursting into the box. Nathan Diaz overcommitted and Thornley coolly rolled the ball past Dixon for Balcata's third. A quality goal from Thornley showing great skill. Thornley shows great strength, pace and poise as he leaves three Bayswater players in his wake and finds the back of the net. Bayswater to their credit kept battling and Giron Maralunda as always was involved. He fed Jack Wilkinson who in turn fed Yoffe. His shot was saved by Caroma and came back to Wilkinson who side footed towards goal where Nunes blocked on the line. The players appeal for a penalty but their appeals fell on deaf ears. And minutes later as Bayswater looked to manufacture another attack the final whistle sounded. 
which meant that Bayswater City had slipped to second on the league ladder. Congratulations, great result. How are you feeling? Yeah, a little bit relieved, I suppose. We haven't had um, the greatest fortune lately, and um, today was a very important game for us, I suppose. And come away with three points away from home against you know a good, good quality side was yeah very pleasing. The side is looking a little bit more co cohesive. Is there something you've been working on at training, or? Yeah, look, just getting our confidence back. I think having a little bit of a spate of bad luck and a few injuries and a bit of imbalance with player movements and things. Um, it's been a bit um, confronting, but um, you know we've tried to keep the confidence up in the boys and keep the, the uh, enthusiasm there. And and um, yeah, it, we've been working on that at training. We're stepping up the fitness as well, and and, and really just trying to stay uh, confident for the for the upcoming games and not letting um, things get on top of us. And. I think the you know, boys responded well again today, and, and you know, it's, it's a really good and an important game for us because um, uh, we, need to, we need to make up some ground, and um, that means getting the, the attitude right. Yeah. A couple of your stars were a bit quiet today. Who were standouts for you? Yeah, look, there's some uh, different different people um, performing today who, who I, you know, I, I thought, you know, well, some people did ex extra extra well today I think was uh, Shane Nunes at the back kept things out, like, remarkably tight um, you know Shane uh, quite a big fellow but um, you know, we sort of monitored the back controlled the back um, uh, communicated well and, and kept our, 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 our back three organised all day and I thought he was tremendous I thought Chris Thackeray was tremendous playing just in front of him um, Steve Burton had a good game today as well so there's a few, few players out there that were, were doing well for us